Hello students, welcome to the next part on the partial differential equations. Today I will upload the part C questions which was asked in the July 2025. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel where you can see I had uploaded the integral equations part B of the partial differential equation and many more lectures of the CSR net July 2025 solutions. Now in this lecture again I will tell you how you can solve the part C questions in the couple of seconds. Remember, your target is to complete the question in the 15 to 20 second time period. Now read the statement, use the solution of some partial differential equations on the circle. Fine, this is a circle such that u is 1 plus twice x square y square on the boundary of the circles while for the other case it will be 0. Then what is the, which of the following statements are my true? Your target is to find the minimum value, maximum value, minimum and maximum. Very, very simple. Very simple. Fine. Can you get the answer in the 15 second? Of course you can because it's a boundary. Fine. It's a closed. It's a boundary. Fine. So the maximum and minimum occur always on the boundaries. Fine. Although there is no boundary, but if you look about this curve, fine. So can you look about the maximum and minimum? So we all know x square and y square is always greater than 0. So that means twice of x square plus y square is also be greater than or equal to 0 on the unit circle. That means u is always greater than or equal to 1. Is it fine? Any doubt? Clear. So that means the minimum value will be my 1 is the right. Minimum value 2 is the wrong. I think there is no doubt up to here. Now, because it is, it is my circle, fine, it is a unit circle. So, can you write the polar coordinates of the circle of the radius 1? x is my cos theta, y is equal to sin theta. Is it okay? Any doubt up to here? So, that means I can write u is 1 plus 2. It is a cos square and sin square. So, I can write, I can multiply 2 and divide it by 2. Fine or instead of the 2 is a 4 divided by 4 multiply by 4 the numerator becomes sine of sine square of 2 theta divided by 4 now can you find because we all know the value of the sine of 2 theta is always be less than equal to 1 sine square is also less than equal to 1 that implies this number is also less than equal to 2 plus 2 over 4 that means this number is 3 over 2 that means the maximum value is my 3 over 2. C, D is the right answer. B, maximum value is 3 is the wrong answer. A and D are my correct answer of this problem. And you can see that how you can solve such kind of the problem because this is the equation of the Laplace. Fine? With some conditions. So if you already watch my Laplace equation lecture, PYQ of the Laplace equation, that shortcut fix I already explained in that lecture. Fine. Agar abhi tak aapne ye lecture nahi suna hai PY question like Laplace, you must go and watch my this lecture. Then you can easily understand how you can solve in a couple of seconds. Okay, look at the second question. So before I start the second question, uh, I hope you can like and comment on the video. Uh, this is the Cauchy problem. So how you can start with the Cauchy problem? dx over x, which is equal to dy over 1 which is equal to dz over 1. From the first two cases it is my log of x which is my log of y plus log c. Fine. Because the value of the x is my 0 so better I can take an in terms of e raised to power y into c or the first condition will be which is my c1. Is it okay? Now from the second and third or oh, instead of the z it is my u. From the second and third, I can say u minus y is my second constant. Is it okay? So therefore, I can write the equation is u minus y which is equal to x e raised to power minus y. I can apply the initial condition that is phi. u is my e raised to power y. y will be y. x is my 0 so it is 0. That means I can choose phi of a is my 0. 
where I can choose a is e raised to power u minus 1. That means I can use this equation. That means phi is my 0 function. Therefore, x e raised to power minus y is my 0. Is it okay up to here? And similar kind of the question we already discussed in the part B. So that means e raised to power minus y can never be 0. This implies x is equal to 0. Fine. Once x is 0 or instead of that you can say the c1 that is a characteristic curve is my 0. Characteristic curve is my 0. What does it mean? So or you, in other words when it will be the 0? It will be 0 when x contains 0. Fine. For every value of the y. Fine. So that means whenever the characteristic curve is 0, we can never get the solution of the PD. So that means there is a unique solution in some neighborhood of the 0. That's wrong. Kisi bhi neighborhood of 0 may aapko 0 contain kar jayega x ka, whatever the value of the y. So that is wrong. Our target is to find the correct statement. Again, you can see the value of the x is my 0. If you take the neighborhood of the 0, Whatever the value of the y, because you can see this implies x is my 0, whatever the value of y, again it involvement 0, so that option is wrong. Contains infinite number of the solutions in some neighborhood of the 0, that option is also cancelled. There is no neighborhood of the origin at which solution exists. So yes, that's a, a is the only right answer of this problem. So you can see again it's a very simple, for more detail, you can watch about my Kochi lectures. That is a PYQ of the Kochi equations. You can easily get the solutions in a more details manner. I hope you can like and comment on the video. I will upload the next video on the ordinary differential equations very soon. Till then, you can share this video with your friends. Like and comment on it. Happy learning always. Best wishes.